in behalf of not only myself as a home care worker, but in behalf of the other home care workers as well. Paul, those workers are demanding justice and they're taking that fight to state lawmakers. The fight is to get better wages and benefits for all home health care workers. But the epidemic of low-wage workers is run wild through our community. Home care workers do not get the respect that they deserve at all. There have been many days I was sick and still took care of my clients. Making $7.75 an hour which is such a low wage that I barely was able to pay my rent and bills. Many wages to me, for me and me and my husband to sit at the dinner table and have a dinner as a family. These Democratic Wisconsin senators and representatives support the health care workers' efforts. We can't continue to let big money interests break the law. Whatever we can do to disincentivize other predatory companies from coming in and, you know, preying on people, paying them minimum wage or less. But I think we have an interesting situation here that deserves a new crime called wage theft. <laughs> That's what is in our blood, that's what's deep in our bones. Milwaukee County Board of Civil Rights is very committed to making sure that everyone in Milwaukee County is earning a living wage. When I hear my Republican colleagues talk about how we need to rein in food share, rein in unemployment benefits, stop providing bagger care because we need to give people a leg up, they say. Are you kidding me? Uh -huh. There was in the Quality Home Care Authority Board in existence until the Republicans took it away. Um, I was on that board and we were really moving ahead to make sure people had that and that they had living wages. And somehow if this is work that they chose not to value, well we value it and we do what they work in the So thank you so much. And whether we will come together as one and be a strong force, I believe we can get this living wages passed.